Good morning, friends of the internet. Today we are going to play the wiry little bulldog. You've been asking for it, and I haven't been uh, posting too much of it. I haven't, I haven't had a lot of seat time here lately in it, and it's kind of surprising because I talk so highly about this tank, but I don't play it that much. Uh, I think it's just because it's a tier seven, and I'm usually playing tier tens with friends or whatever, and and I, I just I feel like I'm more help in a bigger tank, so. But today, I figured, you know what, let's go out and get our little feet wet in this bad boy. It's a little spooky dooky day, so we're in the bulldog. So let's go out and find ourselves a match, shall we? All right, guys, so let's see what we got to deal with here. So we got a 32 Motherland. You know, it's a tier 8 match, so for us, this is like perfect. We're a tier 7 tank destroyer or a light tank in a tier 8 match. Like this is like... Should be a no-brainer for us, especially with this being a bulldog with an auto loader. Should be a good game for us. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ping the map to the left here, um, because what I normally do on this map just um, just to get the initial spots is there's a little house I like to go up to here. There's a bush I can set there, and I can usually detect anybody that's going into town to let everybody kind of know like what's going into town. And right here is where it is. I like to slide right up here. Normally, I don't set in the bush. Normally, I set to the side because now I have to look through this particular bush here to actually see some stuff. But I'm going to set up here anyways. I see the little tank destroyer. He's puffing along there. I get reloaded. I put a shot, and I'm like, where did that round go? Then it dawned on me. Oh, yeah, there's a rock there, but I can't see the rock because I'm behind this bush. So I just decided to sit here a little bit longer and see if I see anything else. So I'm waiting. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and nothing. Oh, so I got a black prince that pops up right there. I so I see him. I don't have a shot on him, but I'm like, okay, now I know he's going into there. I decided to pull out from behind that bush because I'm thinking maybe I'm not seeing everything. So I pull out here just to kind of look around. Still nothing. Where did that little tank destroyer go? Did he like somehow get away? Is he still behind the rock? I'm like really kind of confused where he went. And I'm thinking he must have like maybe backed up from the rock and maybe slipped down off that ridge line on that road and then like fell back out of my view range and then went into town. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. So I'm kind of kind of sketchy right now what's going on. Got a lot of guys off to our right hand side. Got a few guys here in the middle and we're not seeing anything so i look over and then there's a hammer so somehow there's a hammer that snuck through so i'm thinking at that point that maybe that little tank destroyer got away maybe he dipped over there with that hammer and got out of my view range and was able to get away from me so i'm just kind of looking assessing the situation make sure i'm not seeing anything let my binoculars work for me i decided to pull up here and kind of keep this building between me and down there at the town just to kind of see what's going on keep this building here on my right and i'm not seeing nothing so I try to see if I got a shot on the hammer, which I don't. So I slide forward, let the binoc set. I'm looking to see if I see anything over towards their building. I see the tiger. He disappears. Oh, hold on. What do we got here? A VK-36. Oh, he must be AFK and spawn. And no more do I say that he starts moving. And I was like, wait, was he AFK? Was he not AFK? So I'm detected right now. So I decided I better back up. Oh, and look at this little cheeky little sucker. He's been behind the rock the whole friggin' time. So I took a shot from town, so I slid back behind this destructible building knowing I can take one more round. Hopefully they don't try to shoot the building, so I'm looking to make sure that the building is still intact because if they were smart, they'd just shoot out the building. So then I see the little tank destroyer trying to get a shot on me, so I put a round into him. That one bounces. I hit him again, takes out his gun. I got two more shots to put into something. I'm waiting. There's that VK. Hopefully I can kill him with this. Oh. I left him with the sliver. So I back up really quick and oh, that's what it was. It was that Black Prince. Now, if he, that Black Prince would have been smart, being that it is reload, I don't know why he didn't shoot the building. So I put myself between that VK and the building uh, just so I don't take a shot. And then he sees me. He took a shot at me and he misses. And he must have tried to blind fire me because I wasn't detected and my sixth sense was going off. So now this Black Prince is in trouble. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to wreck this guy because his turret traverse is not as fast as I can move. I thought I might have had a shot there, but I'm still reloading. So I'm dragging my feet a little bit. So now I'm going to push this guy. Why this guy didn't just shoot the building, I have no idea. So he's kind of behind the building. I wait. 
I get a shot into the side of him. I back up. I know he's not going to be able to turn fast enough. And then I see I've got the ass into this tiger now. Or this hammer, I guess I should say. So I zip down here. I'm going to have the ass into him. I bounce the first round, so I focus in. Focus fire on his ass in. He's not even paying attention. He's on fire. I let him burn a little bit longer. And now he's dead. So then I see this Jag Panther 2 that's going to try to push me, maybe? No, he's not. He's not dumb enough to push me with everybody that's there. So I decided I'm going to push him a little bit right here because he's not going to push me, right? Wait, 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 wait. He's pushing me? Oh, my God. He pushed me. I can't believe that that guy decided his best alternative at that particular moment getting shot by Artie and that other tank was to push me. Wow. Okay. So he's in trouble now. He's in mad trouble, but I need to reload. So I'm just trying to drag my feet over here. I don't want him to give him away the position that I'm going to go around and flank him very aggressively right now. We've got two heavies pushing him at that corner to hold him at bay. So I'm just trying to stay right here. I see Artie's taken out. Okay. So now I'm not too concerned about artillery. So I'm waiting to be reloaded. I'm going to go around and try to shoot that guy in the ass. I heard the Artie shell land, but I didn't notice that he had killed him. So I'm coming around the corner and I'm like, surprise. Wait, where are you? Hello? Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. So onward and upward. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, we got a pretty good control of this situation right now. And I see the, the, the IS-3 over here. So I'm feeling confident with the IS-3 and the two heavies is pushed through. And I see that they push through on that right side pretty aggressively. So my assumption is this, is that for them to have pushed through as hard as they had and killed what they have over there, those tank destroyers and everything must have pushed up that left-hand side. Because I never did see them sitting there. And I know we saw a couple tank destroyers or a couple heavies. Because look, I'm looking at the map and I see the two heavies. I'm like, okay, so there's two heavies. There's possibly one camp in the base, but I think they probably pretty much pushed through. So I pop up here, I don't see anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go out here and spot for these guys and get some eyes on. I'm feeling pretty confident on this push right now. And then all of a sudden I see the Jag Panzer 2, tier 6, no problem. Uh, he puts a shot at to towards me, hits me. I see the other heavy. I put a round into him, put another round into him, screw his gun up. I'm thinking, okay, so he's the one that's camping the base. So I'm going to peek the hill really quick and get a quick little shot on him and take him out. I see the IS. Uh-oh. And I back up. And the ram gun was camping the base with the IS as well? No way, bro. I was so pissed off that I made that heavy push. But that Jagdpanzer was there, and I thought he was the only tank that was there. So I pushed up there because I thought, okay, I should be able to handle this guy pretty quick with a couple more rounds. And I would have never suspected in a million years that an IS would have been camping the base along with that ram gun. I assumed, and I'll say it, assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups, I assumed that they went pushed up that left-hand side. So at this point, I'm wanting everybody to get on the base, but hopefully somebody has some view range. I think at this particular time, I failed my team because I see him pinging the map uh, with the enemy, uh, enemy team, and they're almost at our base. And the only thing there to stop them is artillery. So they need to pile on this base. They all need to pile on. So I look at the map, and I see them all piling towards the base. Uh, and the black print, print stops. Okay, the one takes a shot. Okay, now they're detected. All they got to do is start lighting these guys up. There's four guns here. All they got to do is shoot them. So they're behind the building. There's the other one. Shoot him quick, 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 quick. They let him get away. I'm like, oh, man, come on, guys. Okay, we got 14 seconds. All you guys got to do is just sit there. Everybody pile on the base. Then the other guy gets off the base. The other one's still hanging back. And I'm like, oh, my God, are we going to lose this? Okay, we got that guy off there. But the IS is there. I said, get, oh, my God, get on the base. Get on the base. Get on the base. Get on the base, guys. Come on, get on the base. All this guy has to do is get on the base. What's he doing? He's not, they're not getting on the base. I'm sitting here just watching this game falling apart in front of my eyes. I'm like, no, now they got three on the base. What, what are these guys doing? Why didn't they get on the base? Now the guy decides to get on the base. It's too late to get on the base. We're going to lose this. I was so disappointed. We're going to lose this because the guys didn't want to get on the base. I mean, we got a heavy tank there. We got two heavy tanks there that could get on the base. And they weren't getting on the base. They were too worried about the kills. We got a KV-2 that's like petering around. And the other one's still hiding behind the rock. The IS-3 was the only one to get on the base. And we lose this round because no one wanted to get on the base.
We had it. All they had to do was pile onto the base and we would have had the win. But my fault as well. I contributed to that loss. We did 2,441 damage. I shouldn't have been so aggressive towards the Jagdpanzer, but I felt pretty good because I was a tier 7 light tank and I, that was a tier 6 tank. I felt confident that I could kill it. I didn't. I assumed that the ram gun had left, but apparently he did not. Neither did the IS. We were second on the team in damage. You can tell the rest of our team, our ram gun didn't have a great game. Most of our team didn't have a great game. Our KV-5 did nothing. Uh, our hammer only did 267. Our T-25-2 only did 479. We shot 24 rounds. We had 20, or 20 direct hits, 15 pins. We did a lot of damage across the board through many a tanks. We spotted a few tanks. But, again, that was my fault. I could have played that a little bit better. I was being a little more aggressive than I probably should, knowing that I was in a Tier 7 Bulldog, and I was pushing a Tier 6. So I felt confident, not realizing that the, the IS was going to be there as long as the ram gun because they never popped up on the radar. What I should have did is I should have got up there, got that guy detected, and then peeked that hill slowly to see if I could see anything. That way, Because I had the guns behind me. I had the guns that could have handled it. If they would have peeked out, they would have defended it. I could have, I could have held them at bay and let them all pile on the flag. So I basically feel like, for me, I put that on my shoulders. I, I, I got us the defeat there because I should have stayed there and just kept eyes on the target so that they could have piled on. I could have held them at bay. They would have had eyes there. They wouldn't have been seen uh, by those tank destroyers and not be able to see them. So I apologize for everybody that was in that lobby. I felt like that was my, lo my, my loss to take for you guys. So uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. That way you know we're posting new YouTube content and we're live streaming. If you haven't checked us out on Twitch or YouTube gaming, come hang out. Be part of the audience. If you're new to those channels, smash those follow buttons over there. So again, guys, sorry for the defeat. Uh, I, I felt I could have played that a little bit better. Uh, so that one's on me. And until next time, we'll see your faces on the battlefield. Thanks so much guys for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for future videos.